He's the worst attorney in all of Illinois. The man always answers his phone. He's very responsive, and he knows everything I ever have to ask him. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently 5.45 a.m. in the morning, and I'm on my way to play some basketball with the crew. It is three degrees outside. I am not happy, but I am excited. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 7.35 a.m. <coughs> basketball is over. It is so cold. Now I'm gonna go home, shower, and then I got breakfast with a colleague of mine. So we're gonna get that taken care of. And the reason I go to these is number one, I enjoy playing basketball. And the little trick is find ways to network, doing things you enjoy, like playing basketball. There's 10 guys here who play full court. That's nine people I get to network with. Maybe do some business with in the future. <coughs> oh my God, it's so cold. We are outside. Outfit change, ready to rock and roll and go to work. Did I mention we got a closing today? It's 10 o'clock, I got Chris here. You guys know him, you've seen him a million times. We're grabbing breakfast, this is tradition at this point. And we're conducting a little bit of business. Uh, and after this, we have a lot of phone calls, a lot of appointments to schedule, and a few contracts to write, so I'm excited. So slight change of plans, it's 10.45. I was gonna go to the office, cause you know, the breakfast place is two minutes away. But I have to be somewhere at 11.45. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna drive to that location, Relax at a Starbucks nearby, get the work I need to get done this morning taken care of, and then go to my walkthrough, uh, quote for a construction guy, and then go to our closing at one o'clock. Another slight change to the plans. I realized my car is absolutely disgusting. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have a black car, but it looks white. <laughs> so it's a mess. I can't be seeing clients like this. I can't be around human beings like this. I can't dress this nice and get out of this car, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly getting a car wash and there's a lot of people here. So hopefully we can get this done in the next 15 minutes. So at least I'll have some time to do the things I need to get done early in the morning. So pray for me. We're slowly running out of time here, folks. Slowly running out of time. So we learned something today, folks. Starbucks are still closed, so I just got my second cup of coffee and we're gonna go to the property and we're just gonna use my hotspot on my phone to get it done. So this is literally the situation right now, folks. I just had to call two people on LoopNet and then I had to call up on another property and it is 11.37, we still have eight minutes to spare. I'm gonna do nothing with those eight minutes except get outside and show you this house. <laughs> this, is, this is a very dramatic moment, folks, look at this. Oh, no, no, oh, it's mostly ice, okay. It's not even like an inch of snow, but they did not shovel the driveway. I'm not upset, I'm not upset. Here's the place we are closing on today. That's a little thumbnail moment for you all. We're gonna go inside and uh, show you around. My construction guy slash client <laughs> should be here any minute now to give, a, to give this client a quote on how to renovate his house. A little tip, if you are gonna do any uh, renovations, do it before you move in because it's already vacant. So we're inside the place right now. We're gonna do the floors. Not we, my client's gonna do the floors, paint the walls, and probably take care of this wall or something. I don't know what, but here's the kitchen. To give you an idea, this is a property in Buffalo Grove, and we got it for 253, and we got it a little bit below market. The reason being is the sellers priced it too high. So they didn't have much competition, and therefore, what my offer was taken seriously and accepted. <laughs> So look for those type of opportunities. Oh my God, this is a much bigger bedroom than I expected. With that furniture, everything looks bigger. I like that. Let's take a look at this bedroom. Look at it. This is some massive bedrooms. Great resale value, all right? Now it's time for me to go get my coffee from my car and just wait around for people to show up. Shades on. Let's go. So I got my coffee and one thing about this house, they were getting water in the basement, right? They had addressed the issue, but at some point, there was water in the basement from the window wells. So I'm down in the basement, incredibly nervous and praying to God, I don't see any water. I don't smell no water. I don't see no water. Oh, this is great. This is great. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Keep your water out of here. Nothing ruins a sale like problems at a walkthrough. <laughs> Also, can we take a moment just to appreciate the fit, ladies and gentlemen? Something I learned recently is dress well. When you're well-dressed, all your posts, they just perform better because when you, it's hard to explain. I guess when you take time and dress well, people take you more serious because they're like, okay, this guy 
is actually thoughtful. He thinks about what he does. And, uh, you know, he must mean business because he dresses like he means business. Oh! <laughs> so I didn't tell you. This is my second closing this week. I had one yesterday. Uh, we have one today. And then we have one end of February. And then we got two more in the beginning of March. So it's going to be a really good start to the year. And these are all deals that were already under contract for tw in 2020. Since October, you guys know I've been losing a lot of deals and a lot of them being postponed. So these are some of the ones being postponed that are finally closing and it's super exciting. This specific case, it was looking real dicey, but you know, we had an issue with the IRS. We got on the phone, we found a solution that nobody thought could work, but it worked. And the moral of the story is always ask the question of how can we get around it, right? The issue was we need a tax transcript. I said, well, why do we need a tax transcript? They said, well, because we have to know for sure that he's paid his tax, he doesn't owe anything to the IRS. So just guess what I did? We got a hold of the IRS and said, send me a letter that says this. They did, clear to close, baby. The walkthrough is over. You can see behind me, that's actually one of my other clients who's the construction guy. We have a deal under contract. So I had him do the quote. It's 1230, we're going to closing. Let's go. It's showtime. I've actually closed at this building before, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so we're gonna go in there, do the closing. And while we're closing, all I'm gonna do is wait. And I'm gonna spend that time working, looking at passes for my buyer. See, efficiency. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me bring you on what a closing room looks like. It's literally just a table. You guys have seen it in several vlogs. And I'm here just, I'm actually here preparing a lease contract for this, uh, for an investment property, a client Bob, we just rented an apartment. So I'm preparing a lease contract right now. While I'm sitting here waiting, it's like 2.13 and uh, they got some paperwork they gotta do. The attorney's out there talking, doing what he has gotta do. Buyers in the bathroom, so I actually have time to uh, to talk to you guys for a second. It's actually uh, interesting time. You see, those are some light documents right there. Uh, I think that's just, and this is a plat survey. Every time you buy, you get a plat survey. Oh, look who it is. It's it's vlog day, by the way. Vlog, you guys have seen this attorney before. He's the worst attorney in all of Illinois. <laughs> the man always answers his phone. He's very responsive, and he knows everything I ever have to ask him. Horrible guy, isn't that right? Not good. <laughs> I can recommend a lot of other people to do your legal work. <laughs> but no one I want to work with, okay? Got it. <laughs> so now I'll check in with you guys after the uh, after the closing as we got the check in the hand. It's over and we got paid, ladies and gentlemen. Closing is a wrap. I got the check in the in the back right now. I'm gonna drive over to one of my clients' house, drop off a key for him, go to the office, get this uh, check taken care of, and then I got some other things to do. What a busy day. Okay, folks, I just dropped off the keys uh, to the closing we had yesterday. Uh, it's an investor. He lives right around here somewhere. And the best part about investors is, so he's going to renovate the unit, and then I'm going to list it for rent. So it's like an extra small paycheck after the bigger paycheck. So it's like, it's a good way to go. It's a good way to go. <laughs> and lately, since I've been working with so many investors, you know, I'm naturally developing a niche in this uh, invest, you know, working with investor space. And, uh, and I like it. So I'm, I'm gonna get into a hybrid way of wholesaling where I can find deals exclusively for my clients, wholesale it to them, and then be the listing agent on the other side when they go to sell, and then basically double end every transaction. And that is the business plan that I have, and that's the meeting we had this morning with the, with the agent Chris. We're kind of going through brainstorming ideas of how we're gonna do it, because we wanna do it together. So it's 3.42 p.m. We're gonna drive over to the office real quick, grab some food, look up houses for buyers, because I'm not done. I got three buyers left to look for, and then whatever comes up for the rest of the day is what we will do. It's 4.36 p.m. Obviously, you could tell by now I'm in the office. I just finished my lunch. I'm flossing because I uh, wear Invisalign and the last thing you need is food stuck in your teeth. Why you got a tray there? It's, a, it's just an absolute nightmare. So I'm flossing and I'm also finishing up looking up houses for my buyers because I did not get a chance to do finish that earlier today. And then this lease contract I prepared, turns out I misspelled the, <laughs> the tenant's last name. So I got to go ahead and fix that real quick. Resend that, get that signed and then meet them with them with the check. And now I want to explain something I did here. So my commission on this was to be $800, right? That's the agreement that the, the landlord signed. But this is when you have to be a human being, right? The place has been vacant for four months, not to my doing. He just wanted too much in rent. And this is going to be a six months rental, right? So I'm not going to charge this man who's a really good client of mine who sent me business, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to charge him $800 in a time where he's got vacancies and every month he's losing money on the place, right? Absolutely not. I told him, look, man, just give me 350 We'll call it a day, you'll get me on the next one, right? So these little things people really appreciate, right? Sometimes it's not a big grand gesture that 
you know, has the biggest impact. It's the small things because it it shows that you cared, right? And that's the name of the game. And I actually care. I'm not doing it so I could show that I care. I, just, I genuinely care. This is a really good friend and slash client of mine. My people, it is almost that time. 7.20 p.m. at night. You would think I'm going home, but no, no, no. I am not going anywhere close to my house right now. I am uh, going to get in my cold car. I'm going to warm it up. And then I'm going to drive to an office location where I need to pick up the keys to this Mercedes. Then I'm going to drive another 15 minutes. I'm going to get to the Mercedes. And then I'm going to put my car where the Mercedes is. And then I'm going to take the Mercedes over to uh, my house. Where tomorrow I have to go. I don't know if I, got, I told you guys. The last person who rented that car, they lost my, uh, my key. So thank, thankfully we have a spare. Something about the side, I never realized the side hustle was gonna hurt. I mean, I knew, but I, I figured I'd deal with it when I get there. I wanna buy a house. My goal this year is I wanna, I wanna own my own place. And I have set a goal to close on it by April 1st, right? Uh, and the way we're gonna do that is, number one, we need to sell this car. I need this loan off my record because this is $768 a month, uh, uh, counting towards my, uh, my debt on a monthly basis which is killing any ability I have to, uh, to get a mortgage unless I want to claim an incredible amount of money and in income, you know, uh, post, like, take no deductions off my income and pay like twelve to 15000 in taxes, which is going to be the money I was going to use for my down payment. So I'm going to toss up. So we're in a position where we're going to end up having to sell this car for uh, a little bit of a discount. We'll still make money off it. We'll sell a discount, get it off the record. So I can go buy my place and then we'll replace it with another one. That being said, I just spent 40 minutes on Instagram Live. My throat is dying. I sound like a, a dead chicken right now. So I'll catch you guys probably when we get to the Mercedes. Look at this, folks. I, I feel like I'm working the graveyard shift, all right? There's nobody here. It's super dark. Kind of spooky if you really think about it. <laughs> but this is the life, folks. We're here at the storage unit. It's time for me to get out of this beautifully warm car and into that terribly cold storage unit. So I'll be right back. As we're in the bends right now, we're driving home, and once I get home, I just have to look up houses for one more buyer, and that's it. That being said, if you enjoyed this vlog, please take a minute, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will see you next week. Take care.